Hey everybody, welcome to the SMA Journey 51 blog. All right guys, in this week's video, I want to talk to you about two potential treatments that could be available to those of us with SMA in the not so distant future. I know that I've spoken to you about Scholar Rocks treatment known as SRK015 and Roche and Genentech treatment known as Ristaplam. But what I want to do today is I want to compare Ristaplam and SRK015 together so that I can show you the differences between these two treatments. And I think you'll find the differences quite surprising. Let's get started by looking at Roche and Genentech. Roche and Genentech currently have their treatment known as Ristaplam under FDA review to become the third approved treatment for patients with SMA. Unfortunately, pricing is unavailable at this time, but Roche and Genentech have said that they are going to possibly underprice their treatment to make it available to a wider population. Rizdaplan was given priority review status by the FDA and tentatively scheduled to be announced for either approval or denial on May 24th of this year. The Sunfish trial is being tested on infants and children and adults up to the age of 25. Recently, the FDA requested further data from Roche so that they could expand the label to include an older population. This delay had nothing to do with the COVID-19 pandemic. SMA News Today, which is the company that I work for, recently interviewed a representative from Roche, and they told SMA News Today that the FDA had requested this additional data back in February, before the COVID-19 pandemic began. Rizdaplam will become the first oral treatment for those of us who suffer from SMA. It'll work similar to Spinraza by modifying the SMN2 gene. Many patients were unable to take Spinraza due to either their spinal fusions or other medical conditions, which made it impossible for doctors to inject the Spinraza treatment into their central nervous systems. Rizdaplam, being an oral treatment, will allow anyone the ability to take this treatment irregardless if they had had spinal fusions or not. Patients who don't have the ability to swallow will also be allowed to take Rizdaplam because it can be administered through a G-tube. So that's basically Roche and Genentech's treatment known as Rizdaplam in a nutshell. Now let's look at Scholarock. Scholarock is currently conducting clinical trials for their potential treatment known as SRK015. Again, pricing is unavailable at this time. Scholar Rock first announced SRK015 at the 2018 annual Cure SMA conference, which was held in my hometown of Dallas, Texas. SRK015 works by reducing the amount of myostatin, which is a growth inhibitor for skeletal muscles found in all SMA patients. The higher level of myostatin in SMA patients reduces the body's ability to allow muscles to grow, and SRK015 will reduce this level of myostatin, thus allowing the muscles the ability to get stronger. SRK015 will be the first therapy, if approved by the FDA, to address this particular growth inhibitor, which would do something that the other approved treatments haven't been able to do so in the past. Unfortunately, we are not able to get too much more information regarding Scholar Rock's potential treatment, because the FDA will not allow them to release any further information until they go through the approval process. Okay, so we know that Spinraza addresses the SMN2 gene and Zolgensma replaces the SMN1 gene. Now, we also know that Rizdaplam is going to work similar to Spinraza by addressing the SMN2 gene. But the treatment that I'm excited about, along with Rizdaplam, which I do think will show some great benefits for us all, but I'm really excited about Scholar Rock's treatment, SRK015, just because they're going to be addressing the myostatin, which is the growth inhibitor that keeps our muscles from getting stronger. You know, a lot of people have said, why didn't Biogen and Avexis look at this issue when they were developing Spinraza and Zolgensma? But Scholar Rock has addressed this issue, and I really think that SRK015, if and when it's approved by the FDA, will be a game changer for all of us with SMA. Now, whether or not they're going to be doing a combination treatment with either Spinraza or Zolgensma is still up in the air, and there's a lot of questions that still need to be answered. But even if they don't, 
Just think about being able to take something that will allow your muscles the ability to grow. Again, it could be a game changer for all of us. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Remember, when you do subscribe to the channel, click on the bell icon. That way you'll be notified of any new videos that I produce. I hope all of you have had a fantastic week. Do me a favor this upcoming week. Do something for yourself that's going to make you a better person. God bless you, and I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Bye-bye.